Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast for Strider 84 up against J Leave round one, group E. Uh, J Leave with the Orwell Lions has won the toss, elected to receive. He's got four, five, six, seven, eight, no, seven, not eight, normals and one double. Whereas Strider has six normals and also the Orwell Lions had more money to start with. We've got three re-rolls and an apothecary. They've got uh, three guards. They've got two halflings. So while they technically have 13 players, two of them are very, very weak. But it's not bad, is it? He's got, he's got a block frenzy mighty. He's got a block big guy with mighty blow. Three guards is okay. I don't really like the tackle bits, honestly. I'd rather have an extra guard. But, you know, the tackle's allegedly good versus elves. Uh, it's just a wrestle lineman, block catcher, and a block thrower. The wood elves, we've got the sidestep dancer and the strip dancer. I, I do like, I'm liking the sidestep dancer more and more. Uh, three rerolls and an apple. The third reroll, thanks to the leader. A couple of Rogers, not Rogers, wrestlers couple of dodges but only two catches because he's got the tree so nowhere near as much dodge as Kfog would have it is a very exciting game um into oh wow greasy cliffs for the catcher that sucks doesn't it his fastest player gets minus movement that is sad um you know if everything goes right you won't need the movement so there is that uh, yes, hello, Lepeg. It is indeed a big game, yeah. Jay Leave, of course, second place in Euroball with Team America, everybody's favourite. Um, and up against Strider, of course, a regular in Super League, the last season's champion. Um, I say last season's champion. So in January, there was the season two finals. It was not called the World Championship, but essentially essentially it was the precursor to this so you can kind of say that strider is the defending champion um he didn't need that did he is he, he that was still like this is a 2d from the from the ogre but never mind gets the knockdown Is he going to GFI to pick up the ball? Is the question. Honestly, maybe, right? And then you can use the reroll on the GFI and it gives you an extra chance to pick it up. Whereas if you don't go for it this turn, you're 1 in 9 to just lose the game next turn. So yeah, I like the GFI. Makes the pick up. He's not going to get blitzed into the crowd. Like, technically, this guy could jump over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, but can't knock him in the crowd anyway. So, yeah, I think you're fine leaving him on the sideline there. What's the reason to take away? It's because of the package. Oh, I did not like the extra GFI. There was literally no reason for that. That was a spunked away reroll there. I mean, I, can't, I did the counting there. I did the counting. This guy could have jumped over. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Or he could have done all these dodges. And it would have been a 1D. I mean, it would have been a 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2 to 1D? That just seems crazy dice, right? Um... So yeah, they get a good package. They get a bit more money. They had like a 85 TV advantage for this game. I don't know if that would normally be 80 or normally 90. I don't know if, you know, uh, how it exactly worked out with Strider's team build and Jay Lee's team build. But an 85 TV advantage, like that's not nothing, right? They, they get a few more skills. I don't think they get enough to make up for the fact that oh, uh, are a not good Blood Bowl team. 
<laughs> That's what I think. Um, but, you know, Jay Leave and some others do. And, uh, you know, a lot of people took Imperial Nobility. They, Imperial Nobility did well at Euro Bowl. Um, so, you know, a few people have taken the old world lines here. I said I could in the same tier and a similar kind of team. And, oh my god, Blood Bowl Royalty is here. Hello, Fumble. Krista. I don't want to say Fumble Krista. That's the news name. It's just Krista, isn't it? Uh, absolute legend of a guy who uh, single-handedly kept Blood Bowl alive for a decade. That might be a slight exaggeration, but only a slight exaggeration. <laughs> so, pretty incredible. He actually... He actually rushed back as well, right? If he hadn't rushed back, he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, and been exactly in this. Now, he's a square short of that cage that he'd already built as well. Like it's all okay, but it was really that was a re I hated that rush from Jay Lee. But I don't really know what he was seeing or thinking with that rush. Great news from that the tree stayed down. Now he can run everybody away from that tree. The obvious blitz is the uh, Ogre Blitz onto this catcher, but he uh, fails the bonehead. He also wasn't blitzing, but I would have definitely blitzed with the Ogre. Three dice with Mighty Blow. Smash. That's what you want, isn't it? Smash every turn with Mighty Blow. It's how you win games. It's a very poor decision to roll ones. I don't recommend it. I don't think I played a perfect game in my first round. Um, but by far the worst decision I made was to roll ones. <laughs> if I simply hadn't rolled ones, the game would have gone a lot better for me. Did he blit he based this guy on purpose, didn't he? I don't like that. I, you have got you've got a player based already, right? So just just beat this guy off. Um, that's all you need to do, right? You don't need to like this is just not because you based him. You have to bl you have to blitz this guy, and now this guy's just going to get two D, right? Instantly two D. Oh, he's rooted the tree. Whoa. Fantastic, Krista. I mean, I think that's incredible. Incredible. I'm a hundred and I'm not just a hundred percent on board with that. I'm like, I'm like one million percent <laughs> that that is a good thing for Fumble. Um, yeah. And thank you, thank you for uh, letting me see it. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, that is the problem, isn't it? That is the problem that Fumble has, is the, uh, is the hours and lack of compensation. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it dwarf survives. He's got the sneaky player behind the tree. Is that yeah? Tag, tag the down guy makes a lot of sense. No tackle on these dwarves, of course. So dodging away is easy, but um, he rolls an instant snake eyes and fails. But you know it was a completely relevant dodge, right? These snake eyes you don't mind so much because it's your last last action of the turn. Doesn't really matter. What really matters is ones where, you know, it's the guy with the ball and uh, doing that twice in one game, some people would say it was very unlucky. But, you know, who knows. Almost has to commit to the uh, hitting the tree here, right, with this uh, ogre. 
and if it fails you blitz him with the troll slayer but looks like we're not going that direction This is, the, this is the problem with all the lights, right? You see the package and you think, Whoa, look at all these skills. I get so much guard. Like, he's, he's only taken three guard. But he could have taken, like, four, five, six guard. So the reason that I looked at all world alliance and imperial ability was like, Whoa, I can have six guard on these teams. But then I thought to myself, but how do the teams, but how do they win? <laughs> how do these teams win? Like... Ultimately, there's a lot to be said for just having a good team. Like Wood Elves, or Dark Elves, or Necromantic. And like, the World Alliance are not a good team. So yeah, they've got a great package. Yeah, they've got loads of skills. He's going to dodge with the Ogre, right? He has to be dodging with the Ogre. That's the only thing that makes sense. It's kind of fair, right? It gets him off the tree um, and keeps the tree rooted. Whereas if he knocked it over, the tree could have just uh, stood up and not even been rooted. So this keeps the tree rooted, gets the ogre away from it. Not terrible. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't get him off it because he's can instantly chain him back onto the tree. <laughs> oh dear. Excitement. Absolute excitement. Just very sensible, cautious play from Strider, isn't it? He's not he's not basing up like a madman, he's just uh basing up enough to get the hits. Staying in front of the opponent. I guess now at least the uh, ogre can blitz away anyway to get off the tree. That pushes the dwarf away. It's not so good though because it does free up the dwarf, so it wasn't such a good push. The uh, two minutes in the time bank there is a visual bug. You'll see it go down at 7.29 any second. There we go. Why is there no fouls? Well, it's very difficult to foul. Isn't it? Uh, first of all, the Wood Elves are never going to foul. And second of all, it costs you position to get the assists in for the other lines. So, you know, the positional cost as well as the fact it might just fail and you get sent off. So, uh, very, very difficult to get fouls in. Like, people tend to foul dancers when they get the chance. But even, even dancers are not easy to foul a lot of the time. Kinda hate just standing up the ogre. I feel like if you're gonna stand up, you want to blitz him, but obviously he wants to blitz with this uh, troll slayer right now. Gets the full and instant power. He's struggling, isn't he, Jay Leave? It's turn four. And Strider hasn't done any like amazing defensive plays. He's just he's just basically stood in his own half. <laughs> and the uh, 
uh, incumbent all the other lines have just stood and not been able to do anything. Yep. And this looks like, this turn looks like four all world lines are just going to get knocked down, right? Five all world lines can get knocked down this turn. One, two, three, four, plus the wits. So we might see five players knocked over this turn. And then maybe get hurt. And uh, maybe looks real bad for Jay to leave. We shall see. Yeah, but this looks like he's going to blitz him to me. Cause that, if you blitz him, that you know, you power him, then that gives you the assist to block this guy, which again gives you the assist to block this guy, which then he can block him, and then he can block him, and then everything's happening. And you can still do that. It just means you've got to make a dodge with dodge, which isn't the end of the world, is it? Would much rather powered him. It's like the kind of better way of Only gets to push him. Not ideal. Again, he would rather power who already had the uh, assist, but it's okay. You can just stand this guy up and get the assist for the troll slayer hit. Oh no, he already got it. Just didn't follow. Okay. I wouldn't have minded following there actually. Only a push here as well. Also, I'd have pushed him to there. Interestingly, only a push here. So this is a kind of pathetic turn, isn't it, for Strider here? He's rolled three pushes and they're both down against a wrestler. So. He had a great chance to have like a devastating turn of knocking down loads of players and he hasn't really knocked down any but he still pushed them all back and uh, has a decent defensive shape. Only four turns for Jay Leaf to get forward. Yeah, he was always going to go up the side there. Yeah, I mean, it was bad dice, right? Like, he made all the right decisions. But it was bad dice, wasn't it? You know, he just got he just got three pushes and a both down. Like, that could have been a crippling turn. He could have just knocked down five... He could have knocked down five players. And Jay Lee could have been looking at trying to escape the half at nil-nil. But now the drive is still alive for him. He can still try to score. The ogre's been absolutely terrible, hasn't it? Absolutely terrible ogre here. Hello, Breaky T. GG from earlier, casted that one live. It was a tough choice, tough choice between that and the uh, Mr. Page one. <laughs> Wouldn't have happened with a pro tree. Yeah, honestly, pro's pretty good, isn't it? I wouldn't, like, three plus is, like, really, really good, isn't it? Three plus pro. But, like, I don't know, man. Block is good as well. Like, it doesn't seem that much, does it, a 4 plus or a 3 plus, but 55% versus 67%. It's like a huge difference, isn't it? Gets a surf. Good for him. But does it do anything for you? 
<laughs> Not particularly, because you've got four players here, five players here. Oh my god, he tries to jump. Kazes himself. <laughs> you've got four players here, and five, six players here. Well, guess what's going to happen this turn? It's not rocket science. And uh, I'm not giving anything away to Strider here. This little group of six is going to be completely surrounded. And this four, I'm not going to be able to support these six very well. Strider not really going in for the kill quite as much as I would like. But I mean, I've seen him play before and he does tend to play very defensively. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Somebody like, uh, you know, C Bros, for example, might have you know, gone in a bit. Oh, I don't know why I said C Bros, like Crystal Hunter, Olivier Delac, might have gone in a bit harder here, but Strider tends to be quite conservative. Using his blitz over there, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, so I guess the thing, no, I don't know. I still think I still think it's better to blitz this one, right? Put your assist in here. Blitz this guy, and then come out and uh, screen. Wow, so Strider just keeping, maintaining the width. Wow. Wow, I don't, I do not like that at all, actually. I much preferred putting somebody in here to split the team. Much preferred that. I'd want to drive a wedge between these two. Have an L, an L shape, completely cutting off these six and then pushing for the ball next turn. I might have even just based everybody, honestly. I might have based all six of them and split the team off. But that's a bit higher risk, isn't it? It's a bit higher risk, higher reward. Um, Stride is perfectly happy to go in at nil-nil, I think. Or just give your opponent enough rope to hang themselves, right? That can also work. If you just play super safe, super safe, super safe then eventually they, they'll try some kind of, you know, dice rolls that don't work and then you just pick up the ball instead of having to sack it. Oh my god, this ogre! <laughs> oh dear, I mean that's 180 TV on that ogre, isn't it? Yeah, I really don't like not splitting the team. But I mean, J Lee isn't doing much here, is he? <laughs> oh, wow. We've got a based cage. So he's going to blitz one and then, like, double base on the other side. So yeah, blitz this guy, and then with two players here, it's not really a base cage anymore, right? Because you can only take down one of them. But yeah, we're just going to elf column. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's a bit too. I think this approach is a little bit like too timid and a bit too safe, a bit too conservative. Um, like it works. It works. It is what you can see. It's working. It's turned it's turned six for Jay Levy. Still in his own half. But uh, you know, it's he's going to defend doing this way. But I feel like. You know, there's a lot to be said for going in this one nil up than it nil nil. Hello, Mike the Machine. Um, it will be possible, yep. I mean, everything will get done on re by replay eventually. Yeah. 
every single match will be covered either live or as a replay there were 10 games total today <laughs> so um, it'll take me a while to work through everything um, especially like with casts on through the week like I want to save some to like cover gaps right like if you know say like watch one game and then like alright there's time for two replays before the next game and stuff so and see how it works. The ogre's going right forward. Might have to try and score on the ogre at this rate. Well, it's not his turn seven. The ogre isn't far enough forward. Oh, he's making a chain, but it's a sidestepper. So <laughs> that doesn't particularly work. Oh, it's not possible to to rewind. I mean, they're not playing now, are they? No, it's not. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to stop casting a live match to go and watch it because you asked, Mike. I don't know. <laughs> um, there are. It's possible to watch replays. It's possible to watch replays. It's also not possible to rewind. So, like, if, like, you know, a game. If a game, like say this game ends at half ten, and another game started at ten, you can't then like catch up. You know, like on Blood Bowl two, you could catch up to live games. The catch up feature is gone. Yeah, there are replays. There are replays that that you you can't you can't rewind live games. Oh my god, he's just dodged through, and rushed. <laughs> the greasy cleats. <laughs> the greasy cleats cost him a reroll. Thanks, Mike. So he's got he's got one scoring threat. Um who can get three diced, I guess, right? With with wrestle. There's really no reason to not three dice him with wrestle. Oh no, maybe the wrestle can't get there. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, the wrestle can't get there. So you can three dice him anyway. And he's got the scoring threat. The first thing actually he does, despite playing pretty conservatively, the first thing he does is get the scoring threat in. <laughs> But I've got an extra one, right, to make him fully in seven. I don't like leaving him the GFI. I could double one. I feel like he should definitely be one person. I mean, surely you three dice this guy, right? You just have to. He's the only way you can score. Yeah. After playing this way this whole drive. Is he just going to blitz with a leader then? Yep. Has to re-roll. Gets the full power. And greasy cleats means he can't reach the end zone. <laughs> oh, brilliant. He might be able to be chained though, to be fair. There might be a chain on, but... Wow. Talk about dice. I mean, you're not going to try to chain him here, right? Because it's too dangerous that the elves just get you. Just want to reconnect. You just want to reconnect, blit blitz this guy with your tackler, and then reconnect these two so you get a me mega bunker. Because you're not you're not going to chain him in skull. I wonder if this guy who went in a range. I wonder if he should have like. You know, gone over here, right? So he couldn't have got tackled.
because it just seems obvious to blitz him with a tackler, doesn't it? No re-rolls. Only pushes him. Pushes him into range so he doesn't have to do the GFI to score anymore. <laughs> but just as planned for Strider. Genius positioning there. I thought he was wrong leaving himself a GFI, but he gets pushed to not need the GFI anymore. Rush, rush, rush. Sorry, I'm so bad at saying rush. Is it even worth rolling the dice to hit the ball, honestly? Maybe not, right? Got to jump in, you're uphilling him. He's got sure hands. <laughs> yes, Lepeg, yeah, that's a, that's a rough draw. <laughs> Woodies are so annoying, so much dodge. Oh my god. I mean, un unless they roll like me, they're almost unstop um, impossible to stop. I'm regretting immensely using Dark Elves, honestly. Dodging with re uphill with wrestle. Yeah, of course, go for the wrestlers. Yeah, much better than leaping in. Because he's got the rerolls, might as well spend them. And he would have had a chance of uh, recovering and scoring. So, yeah. So, you know, good defense by Strider, right? Stops the score. Doesn't take any damage. And actually. This guy injured himself jumping, so Jay Lever's been outbashed, has to field a half in now, and Strider comes out and nil nil. So Strider will be very happy here. He didn't, uh, he didn't like really try to go for the counter score, did he? Didn't take any risks. He just made sure to get in at nil nil, and uh, and has got in at nil nil, and obviously trusts himself to win one nil now. Um, but you know, you never know. Things things can happen. So <laughs> yes, nine dodge for KFL gear. Yeah. Pretty ridiculous. I mean, you know, Andy's KFog as well, right? So it's a double. It's a double whammy, really. He's KFog and he's got nine dodge. Yeah, I. But you know, he can still roll badly, right? He can still roll badly. He can still play badly. He can make misclicks. He can make misreads of the board state. You can play well. You can roll well. It's he's not nailed on. Like he's obviously the favourite to to get through the group, but it's certainly not guaranteed that he does it all. So interesting that uh Stride is just going for the fight here. I mean I guess he's got the tree, hasn't he? So the tree encourages you to fight a bit. Cheeky wrestle. That is the good thing about the two wrestlers, isn't it? It gives you those safe LOS blocks. To the full power with my E below. Absolutely not. I guess he's blitzing with a dancer, that's why it's uh, up there. And not blocking on the LOS, yeah. That's the big knockdown. Oh, it's a stun! Very exciting for Dimmy G. He gets excited by AV breaks and knobs. I'm sure. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Excitement!
Next to Pickle. Right. Pretty he's honestly pretty weak to getting the uh <laughs> to getting the tree knocked over here, isn't he? <laughs> A little bit weak to getting the tree knocked over. I guess the fact it's got stand firm though means that even if you knock it over you can't get through. This fella gets the full power. AV break. Injured! Badly hurt, that really helps. J leave. Get some banging done. Striders down to 10 men. Very exciting. Can lap around if he wants. And uh, put a bit more pressure on. Let's keep the tackler back as a safety. I really like the tackler coming like three, four, five, six, seven, right? I really like the tackler coming around there and then like the catcher coming around here and stuff. Like really trying to put more pressure on. But um, it is fair to just, you know, try and play a little bit safe. Problem is, like when when you do try to put pressure on like that, it leaves you open to the L's rolling some two pluses and getting past you. But I mean, I I'm a great believer in that. That's what you have to do. That's how you beat the Wood L's, right? You make them roll those two pluses to beat you, and it's really all you can do, right? That's what I think. But, I mean, it's so hard to it's so hard to beat Wood L's. Power Apple. Glorious. Yeah, you liked where the tree was, right? That's why he didn't follow, even though it was kind of natural to keep keep him on the tree. So going like the L stall, the old the old style way of playing elves this is as old as the game itself right having most of your players on here and then a one or two back that's a very old-fashioned style i really do prefer the uh the full dacker everyone back but like you know i've never liked this it's, it's just too easy for them to you know come in and pressure and i know you can just go past and stuff like i know all the pros and cons but to me, it's always felt like you're going to make some critical 1 in 36s if you do this. Not always. But it, it invites things to go wrong, I feel. Like, just one player here makes things dicey. Like, it doesn't take a lot to pressure it. I guess by the same token, people would say from one player out of position makes you drive easier, so. But I'm a fan of the Dakar. Up full power. It can't follow. Dead, dead, dead! Oh my God, there's some excitement for you. And bases the non-dodge players, right? That's important to base the non-dodge players. So he's done it here, but he's he's done it unsupported, so he's just giving away a two dice block. But um it's really good to base the guys who can't dodge well. It's almost pointless basing the others, because they'll just dodge. <laughs> and you can't ever count on a 1 in 36 failing. Especially with the armbar. Got to surely blitz the halfling here. Yep. Doesn't get him. He might just dodge away from the uh, 
Troll Slayer and the Ogre. Nice little move from Jay Lee. seemed like it was, you know, you're just going to get the punching, but the thing is, if you put somebody there, they can get surfed, and if you put somebody there, you're giving away a block, a mighty blow block, so it is kind of easier just to dodge them both. And twos, and then it kind of screens off his whole team as well, right? You could put, say, one there and one there or something, or one here and one here. Some kind of formation, even right there and right there to... Oop. Anyway. Put it there. Where is this one go? Here? Here? Around? Could have gone up. Yeah. Uh, directly in the way of the ogre, so now I can only go three, four, five. It stops him getting anywhere, right? If he was like there, he'd be able to go diagonally. So now the team is reconnected. The two guys at the back have come up. Two fellas are on the tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, oh, well, yeah. The thing is, all world alliance are a bit rubbish, aren't they? That's that's the problem. As good as their package is, they're not a good Blood Bowl team. <laughs> also, Jay Leave only took three guard and he could have taken six. Like the reason for taking them for me was six guard. <laughs> he rolled a one on the bonehead than a one on the loner. <laughs> so it was a double one. <laughs> But it didn't need to be, yeah, I really want to get that Olga back in. It would have been a three dice blitz on this wrestler. His Ogre has been pretty terrible. One of the reasons why I don't like sticking a double on it. I well, actually could have had seven guard, right? Because he could have used a double for guard as well. So he could have had seven down. But he only chose three. But you know, Strider's not out of the woods yet, right? Like he does have to. He does have to score. Tree takes root, but does get three dice. Only a push. I could surf this guy. Doesn't go for the surf. I'd have definitely gone for the surf just quietly. Turn 12, it's totally fine. I mean, maybe he will go for the surf if he gets another push. No. But if he needed a blitz, whereas. If he pushed him to there, he could have then pushed him. If he pushed him to there, then he could have pushed him to there, then he could have pushed him to there, then he could have pushed him to there, and then he could have pushed him off all on blocks. Which would have been a very neat way of doing it. I feel like he'll just go back to the middle a bit. No, stay around the tree. I mean, he could have also stayed around the tree and still gone back to the middle a bit. Maybe he wants to keep a bit of distance from the ogre. Oh, rolls a one. Is he going to re-roll this? No, KO. Oh, he did use reroll. He used the leader skill. That's nice, isn't it? it? Tells you to use the leader. 
the re-roll. So he double wand it. And it's not a critical double one, but it is a double one. It's another player off the pitch. Jay Leaf still in with a shot. He's winning the time bank war, Jay Leaf, so you know he's making Strider think a little bit. <laughs> yeah, not the best leader reroll, was it? <laughs> Feel should be basing that wrestler right. Let's get some basing going. You have to base them, like you have to make them roll dice, you have to put them under pressure. This is a pretty good formation, isn't it, from Jay Leaf? How many players do the Woodies have? Still have nine. What do they only have 11? Did they have an apple? Three, four, five, six, seven. They, they didn't have it, though, so they had an apple. It is eight, isn't it? Yeah. And still eleven for Jay Lee, even though one is a halfling. Um, I've mentioned it a few times, BB No, I think they're still a rubbish Blood Bowl team, even though the package is good. So, bad. I think they're bad. <laughs> I just think they're a bad Blood Bowl team. And I think, ultimately, yes, a bad Blood Bowl team can be saved by a good package, but I just don't think the package is good enough. Like, they're definitely a bad Blood Bowl team, right? Like, they, they, you know, you could make them good enough because the package could be 47 primaries and 38 secondaries, right? Like, so you can definitely make anything. You can make any team the best race in the unlimited stacking. You know, like, you can make any race the best race in the game with packages. Um, I just don't think this package is good enough. I would just wouldn't play BB wouldn't play. If they were my choices, I would just concentrate on casting. <laughs> the fact that stacking costs a secondary. If 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 stacking didn't cost if stacking costed a primary, I'd go with a sneaky get dirty player or World Alliance. Um but I would go for like I would go for the six guard knobs. Yeah, I'd prefer six guard knobs to uh, seven guard or. Get two blodges as well, right? You get six guard and two blodges with uh, knobs. Oh. Injured! Badly hurt. No re-roll for that failed GFI. So, you know, a few dice rolled there. You GFI with the ball carrier. Um, did another GFI with a, sorry, rush with the catcher there. But, you know, like, and the ones that failed resulted in uh, an injury. So, you know, you've got to make them make those rolls, I think. <laughs> Nobs are most definitely not OP. 
Do you know what could be an interesting choice here? I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> well, Jay leaves streaming, so he's definitely not listening to the stream. So I can say it. What, do you know what I think's interesting here? Is uh, this halfling could dodge into here, right? And then one of these players that he's moved already could have gone here. And then you could have blitzed the catcher and then pushed back the dancer. Oh my god, is Ogre again? Jesus. And then, uh, you know, that would have pushed the catcher out. That would have pushed the dancer out of range, right? Because at the moment, the dancer can just go. So it might have been worth dodging in the half lane to just make sure that the, the dancer can't score this turn. Because it's getting a bit a bit desperate for Strider here, isn't it? This is getting a bit desperate. I don't like that the halfling is the one who's going to have to hold this square. I'd have rather had like the halfling there and the lineman there. Or wherever he is anyway, I assume here. Might want him somewhere else. But here seems good, right? Because he's screaming with the troll slayer. Or there, or there. And you're screaming, you're screaming with him as well. And, and him. So, like, it be any of these three squares, but it seems like it should be one of these three. To me, but then you're leaving this guy get up on a two, which is bad, isn't it? So, you know, you want to keep somebody there as well. Maybe this guy shouldn't have been there. He's like, nowhere is he? This guy's nowhere. So this guy maybe should have been up here. Or this guy, if he could have got there. And then this guy there. I mean, this guy being nowhere isn't isn't good. Still undefeated. Yeah, I'm undefeated with knobs as well, yeah. Will probably remain undefeated for the rest of my life. Oh, for Fabrido, it is indeed. Yeah, he's just gone. The ogre and the ogre has been terrible as well. The ogre has been absolutely appallingly bad. Funny that, isn't it? That Jelly went in the exact in the exact same square. But um, I think this was like a good square to hold. Because it's just, you know, it's kind of obvious, right? Because you just dodge away and then blitz through there. Is he going to go for the... He can't go for the touchdown, surely. Like, it's 3-3-2. Three, 2-2. Three, two, two, two. But he's, got, he's lost so many players. This guy's stunned. Tree's rooted. So he's got, like, two less players than this. He's got five players at the moment, basically. But, like, scoring looks pretty decent, actually. He's, he's going for it, isn't he? He's, he's trying to leap at the moment, yeah. Man, look how clever Jim was with dodging the halfling to chain back the war dancer. God, honestly, sometimes... Sometimes... It's just a curse being this brilliant. <laughs> well, in this tournament, it was the package that they got, right? It was the extra skills. He's got 85 more TV than Strider here. He's got more skills on his players. Guard, mighty blow, tackle, block, wrestle. And uh, he thinks that's good. It's not what I'd do, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> yes, for Fibrio, that's very true, yeah. Maybe 4 out of 27 I'd fail. <laughs> But, you know, who's counting? Maybe the ones that I feel would be critical ones with a ball carrier as well. I mean, just maybe. <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it?
But even then, you know, I'm, I know I should have played better. Could, could and should have played better, so. Is what it is. I feel like I'll play it better next game, funnily enough. Funnily enough, I'm confident now. Dimmy, if you're still around, I'm actually more confident by playing badly that I'll play better next game. I know that sounds stupid, but that was like the best practice. So I'm, I'm very confident next game that I won't make the same mistakes. A vicious ref. It's a stun catcher. That might. Oh, what, is he just going to give it straight to him? 4 5 6. GFI handoff. And get him right for forward. I think this is the play, honestly. I think this is the play for J Lev. Is to um, give it straight to him, run him up. I'm so confident, it's ridiculous. I'm definitely going to win my remaining two matches. And then, become the champion of the world. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Whoa. Thank you very much, PL Minotaur. Welcome to the official World Championship 2024 cast. Strider versus Jay Leaf. Strider just scored and turned 14. Jay Leaf has three turns to equalise and come away with a draw. He is not going for my play of getting the ball to the catcher as soon as possible. <laughs> that lull makes me. It looks a little bit that that statement is not so true, but thank you, Torek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Instantly not the champion of your hearts. Diced. Diced again. Didn't follow, so this tree might just uh, explode an opening to hit the ball. I'm not a fan of that at all from J Lev. But then there's also a way, there's also multiple ways actually to get the ball. So he's going for the handoff next turn. He also has to GFI rush with the catcher at the moment. Okay, so he's got this. So this actually shows everything up, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Runner rough with your hands. Does the oh the the over passer? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. He's still got sure hands and pass, but yeah, it just randomly has minus PA. Did he apple the KO? But I guess these were at serious injury, so it didn't apple them. This isn't a, it wasn't a bad turn at all from Jerry. Oh, tree roots. Rolls a full pal. But he hasn't got many players left, has he? The problem is that Jay Lee's given himself is because he didn't commit to a sideline like I would have done. It's not so easy to cover him either side, but he's only got two turns to score. So he can only go one way or the other anyway, right? He can't go through the middle because there's a bloody tree there. 
<laughs> so he's, he's going to have to go one way or the other eventually. In this way, he's got a guarder and a tackler. In this way, he's maybe got an ogre, a halfling, and a lineman. So I still maintain my first turn play of hand off to the catcher and run up was the best one. Yeah, okay, he might strip you, but so what? You're going to have to get up there eventually anyway, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> the dwarves didn't just send their shit linos. The dwarves sent, <laughs> sent guys that would never, ever be good enough to be linos. <laughs> There could, it could be a halfling throw, and he does have the halfling next to the uh, ogre. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I hope that isn't his plan for his sake. <laughs> <laughs> but he's already moved further than a tree could have moved to get it, right? So, And I, I think the ogre's better, honestly. <laughs> Flamesmiths, yeah. <laughs> Not even classic or Flamesmiths are moving five, right? So these these Old World Alliance uh, linemen. Not even fast like Flamesmiths. Injured! Oh my goodness, look at this. Absolutely bodied these Wood Elves, but didn't matter. Still might lose. Decent chance of losing, actually. So here we go. Big handoff incoming. Probably should move the Halfling first. Doesn't move the Halfling first. I think that's a pretty terrible idea to have not moved the halfling first. Ah, but I mean, I guess it protects the protects the ball from the pickup. But now, like he's got a score, right? Like he's got a score, and he's got a lineman in scoring range, and he's got this halfling that could be thrown from the halfway line. But if the halfling had moved first. Then next turn he would have had the pick up, hand off the halfling and lob it. This dwarf is in range as well, yeah, that's true. The dwarf is also in range. So he can block the he can block him and then he can try to block him, or does he go for the ball? It's he's got a few choices, hasn't he? Like it's still not to be fair, he's not in a great spot, is he still a strider? I mean, the the throwers, are, the the humans are much bigger threat because he hasn't got loner and he's not based by a bloodstepper. So I guess the stripper's going to blitz the fling and then pick up. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. Oh. Makes the pick up. How much movement has he got? bit. It's probably worth rushing, right? With one uh maybe not, maybe you like leap and then or something here. Or like dodge. Leap dodge. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Alright, so the halfling can block him to free the tackler. And then the tackle can tackle him. And then he can pass it to the lineman. This is this is very much on with two rerolls here. Do you know what? That was a bit of a mistake by uh, Jay Leave. 
he had these two players and the ogre, he could have three diced this guy. <laughs> he could have he could have three diced a lineman. <laughs> the pal up there so he can't catch it with activated players already right in front of him pick it up hand it off ah so he's got a bobble box three three two two with two rerolls fails the pickup god damn well, there you go. That was a pretty good chance. 3-3, three, 2-2, three, two, two, with two team re-rolls. Very high odds of picking up the draw there. Um, I don't know what those odds are, of course. <laughs> but trust me, he, he was very, very close. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's harder to do now, isn't it, with the uh, multiple re-rolls. Um, I can tell you. It used to be 61% with a reroll, and now it's 72% he was to, to score that touchdown. So, you know, pretty decent chance to have scored there and made it 1-1 and leave. And uh, yeah, both played very well. And uh, congratulations, Strider, picking up the win. And um, commiserations, Jay leave. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.